Welcome back to What RT Nibs with General Disturbance. This is an M44, the Tier 6 American SPG, and it's located on the south spawn of Malinovka under the command of Ramtov. Now, Ramtov is a member of What RT Nibs, and he also has his own streaming channel, so check that out on Twitch TV. And on this occasion, his M44 is wearing the skin provided by Sir Rusty. It says What Art He Noobs on the side, and it also has the Stars and Stripes and the name Devastator. Okay, Grand Tufts into action. You can see one mark of excellence on the barrel. A very nice shiny barrel. It's a really good skin, actually. Thanks, Rusty. Okay, we're loaded. Ready to go. He's off into the trees. Okay, this looks a good spot. Aiming to shoot. And we've got a first target. It's a Panzer 38MA, the tier 4 of the German scout. And he's killed before we can get a shot off. Right, we've got an SU 76 GFT. That's the Chinese one. The fully enclosed one, which has got vents. He's working out where it's going to go. He thinks it's going to go that side. I think so too. And he killed it with one shot. It's a, a blind kill. Oh my god, that one's got to go into the magazines because um, into the video clip replays because he fired at one party, uh, one tank destroyer, and he killed a different one. That was really funny. Round out. Ground lands with no effect, but I think he probably did stun. Now that SU-76G is probably still there. Going back to the Panzer IV-H, he's missing a few hit points already, so maybe there was some damage. We're loaded. Working out where it's going to go. That's it, round out. That looks good. That looks good. Yes, it is! It's a kill shot, 113! Okay, we're dialing in on that position where the SU-76 GFT was last seen. We've got a 17.17 seconds reload. Loaded. Right, he's not going to fire because there's a Lux on the middle of the map doing a bit of a scouting run. He's taunting us with that. And I think we're going to fire around there and... That probably just landed behind him. But we're reloading. Okay, he's looking for a target. He targeted the ground there just to let people know that's where he's looking. Okay, we've got a P2640, the Italian tier 4 medium. Oh, somebody fired him and it was our Storm Panzer who just took him. Oh, actually, the Storm Panzer got the ram. It was the Hellcat who killed the uh, P26. But we've got some good spots now. We've got a Churchill gun carrier. And we're just splashing into 75 and other RT rounds are landing. Oh, these, these tanks have been uh, stunned and tracked. We're almost loaded. Gonna go for the Churchill. Round out. Oh, yes. Well, 67 hit points of damage to the gun carry, but that's the only one we can see at the moment. There was a Churchill 3 there as well. The gun carry is moving back. And he's being targeted. Ramtops indicated the target. Shells out, but unfortunately, he'd gone. Heavy tank number six. Okay, he's stationary. We're reloading. But we're switching back to the Churchill 3. And the bishop has been found. The enemy bishop going for the Churchill 3. Round out and splash for 169. Left him on only a few hit points left. There's the bishop. He's pulling back into the trees because he's been damaged. The Churchill's dead. Now, remember where the bishop was? Slightly to the north. Okay, the other enemy arty has been located. The Storm Panzer. Both of those are short range arties. The Storm Panzer is relatively slow. Okay, he's just moved position. We're loaded. Dialed in. Rounds out. And we killed him! That's his third kill! Right, there's the heavy tank. 
We can land the shell directly behind him. Ramped up song, targeting the ground. We're loaded now. Ready to go? We can splash. And it lands just next to the rock. So that definitely did some damage to the heavy tank. No doubt about that. Now, trying to work out where the bishop was. Slightly to the right of this position. Just slightly. Oh, there's the tracer. That's it. He's got it right now. Now, that should do the trick. And it does! He's killed the bishop! So that's two Arties killed. Four kills so far. And that strip went down. This is almost like, you know, it's targets of opportunity all over the place. Heavy tank number six. Right. Aim to either side of the rock. And splash him. That's it. Rounds out. Oh, he moves to the other side. You can see it still stunned him. And now he's being circled. It's a Panzer 38 NA. He's found him. And shooting him into his rear. Marty's hitting him. One more round. Should do the trick. Round out. This should be it. Oh. It was close, but not close enough. But you can see the marks on the tank show that he's been hit multiple times by RT rounds because those yellow marks are the HE shells. Now there's one RT remaining on the enemy team. It's an FB304. There's the heavy tank. We can splash kill him now. Round out. Yes! And we do get the splash kill. So that's five kills. If he can get the last one, the FB304... That will be a Top Gun. He's telling his team where he's looking by targeting the ground. We're loaded. I think he's probably going to be north of here in Grid Square A2. No, he's actually in A1. Right at the back of the map. And we're too far away to hit him. We're going to have to move. And unfortunately, he's already dead before we got the chance to fire. Oh... Well, we've missed the Top Gun. That happens so often to good RT players. So you, you just miss it by one tank and you had the round ready, but uh, you were just out of range or you just had to move at the last second and somebody gets in there before you. So bad luck there by Ram Tough, but five kills is still very, very good indeed. So let's have a look at the end of battle stats. It's the third class tanker for Ram Tough of RTR in the M44. He also got a fighter badge for getting at least four kills. He got five, a bruiser medal for getting at least five critical hits. He got, um, is that my eyes deceiving me? Is that 13 there? So a very nice score indeed. And a win eight of 1844. And let's have a look at the team scores. Well, we can see that he didn't get the top spot. That went to the Hellcat on damage. 1,280 hit points he got altogether. He got the high caliber. Uh, Ramtuff came in just behind him with 960. And uh, so he gets second place. And the M41 managed 942, which is pretty good, actually. And he picked up a Confederate because he didn't get any kills during the battle at all. And the AMXA ELC managed to get a patrol duty as well. So a lot of people managed to get medals in this game. Um, if we look at kills, it's ramped up right at the top of the table with five. He really worked hard during that and he was picking the enemy off. Some lovely shooting as well. And if we look at base XP, he was in third place with 647. The high score was the AMX. And of course, that's because he picked up all that spotting. He got 1,664 hit points of spotting. A win eight of 2171. And if we look at the one just below him, the Hellcat managed 653. He didn't get that much in the way of spotting, only 288, but he did pick up a high caliber and he got a win 8 of 3356, I think, on that one. Is it 5658? Uh, difficult to read actually sometimes because they make these texts so small and my eyesight's failing me. 3356 it is. So let's have a look at the uh, uh, detail report. Well, he fired 15 rounds during that battle. 15. Got two direct hits, two penetrations, 10 splash. Damage of 960 hit points, all at more than 300 meters. He damaged seven of the enemy and killed five of them. And he did damage assistance of eight hit points and stun assistance of 54 hit points off seven stuns. On a premium account, he earned 24,837 credits, got 3,726 credits for completing the mission, and that brought up a total of 28,563. And after ammunition resupply and the ammo for the M44 is relatively cheap, he took away 20,988 credits. 
He earned 970 XP for the battle, got 146 for mission completion, so he took away 1116 experience points altogether. So just missed out on the Top Gun, that one, Ram Tough. Uh, better luck next time, I'm sure you'll do it. Uh, but that was a really good battle to watch, and it was nice to see that kill where you actually took out the M881, even though you were aiming for an SU-76. And I will actually forward that to one of the video compilation people, because they might want to actually include that, because you see you're aiming for one tank and you actually hit another. is quite funny. So uh, if you enjoyed that replay, please give it a like and do subscribe to our channel, and hopefully it'll be your replay that I'll be featuring in the next video.